truth is out there. And the truth is that this is good. Hey guys, so I've got a week left till I go to 100 miles. So basically I'm going to do as many reviews of anything I can while I have my backdrop here until I leave. So if you kind of wonder what I'm reviewing, it's because I want to review it while I still have this back wall. Anyways, so this is my review of the first season of The X-Files. Now The X-Files came out way before my time of watching television. I didn't really watch any uh, television shows considering I was two when the show started. So, uh, I watched the movie Fight the Future in mid-2000s, and I really enjoyed it, but I never had the want to watch the show, mainly because I would have to go out and buy all the DVD sets and whatnot. I would watched maybe like one or two episodes, but I don't really remember anything that happened. So, watching the first season of the show, holy God! The 90s had one of the best television shows of all time, in my opinion. The X-Files was amazing, at least this first season. There were so many interesting aspects of it, because I always wondered, okay, it's always about aliens, right? No, it's not. It's about weird paranormal stuff. Basically, everything that Supernatural has done has been based entirely on the X-Files, if not heavily influenced because there's so many different stories that happen in the show that aren't extraterrestrial related. There are some great extraterrestrial uh, uh, episodes, like the first two episodes, Fallen Angel, the final episode, but the whole in the, the whole basis of the show was amazing. The entire concept, what they would go out and find, like there was different creatures, like the, the bug episode up in like, up north in the trees, or the uh, the Jersey Devil episode. All these are great episodes because they include kind of paranormal or folklore legends, and they put a scientific edge to it. Which, as much as I love Supernatural for what it does. I admit that seeing these kind of monsters with a scientific side is so freaking cool. Some other awesome episodes to mention was Squeeze with that little shit from the Green Mile. That guy was an asshole. Also Crowley! Crowley was a guy who snapped his fingers and people burst into flame. That's so awesome. There's so many people that were from different television shows like Seth Green. A lot of people got their start in the X-Files. If I were to have any gripe with the first season, it's that not a lot of the episodes are connected. And you really, you're, you're so in the dark on something, which is so awesome about it. But now that's kind of, that's the only real nitpick of story because that's exactly what the first season of Supernatural did. A lot of that whole season was filler, just like go to this part and whatnot. Whereas with the X-Files, kind of the similar thing. In, there's little points here and there that build up. But each episode is just so cool. I, oh, I loved it. If there's one thing I was kind of audited out about was how monotone David Duchovny sounded sometimes. Now, I was, I, I watched these guys in the movie and I loved them in the movie. Admittedly, watching them in the first season was interesting because they'd be like, what's going on, Mulder? I don't know, Scully, what are we gonna do? Mulder, we can't do this, this is wrong. Scully, we need to find out the truth is for the X-File. That's kind of how I felt with some interactions. Admittedly, there were some great ones. Probably one of the best episodes of this season was Ice, in my opinion. Ice was great because it totally felt like watching the thing. However, about halfway through, I realized, wow, that could be me in about a month up in 100 Mile. Yay. So, either way, I really did enjoy this season. Admittedly, the fact that there isn't this over arc is in kind of how monotone the two leads sound sometimes is a little bit interesting. But in the end, I still love this season. And I'm going to give the first season of The X-Files a 6 out of 7. The reason why is because the finale didn't sit with me properly. I don't know. I love the Deep Throat character. But... It just didn't feel so woo as everything else had been. Like any sort of other, every other sort of thing had been like a way more damning evidence in my opinion than the thing. Sure, there's a little baby thingy, but I don't know. It just wasn't as woo to me. Either way, I still really did enjoy uh, the first season of the X Files. I will review every other season of the X Files leading up to the 
newest one uh, while I am up there, but I just wanted to do this review for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. I really did enjoy this season, and I think it's one of the best shows <laughs> that I've missed out on that I've watched now, and I can't wait to talk more about this. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll see you guys later.